My name is Kathy, and today I want to talk about the painting that's called Saint George and the Dragon. Before I go into the details of this painting, let's talk about the painter of this famous piece of art. The painter of this famous piece of art is a painter that names Raphael. He worked as a painter and、uh, architect in High Renaissance. His career started when he was fifteen, since he drew his self. Portrait like the one you can see on your right. When he was a kid, he liked to learn from his father, who was a church painter. Sadly, his mother died when he was eight. Raphael will always be remembered as one of the world's greatest artists, and his work will always bring inspirations to others. And the painting we are going to talk about today is one of his successful works. Moreover, Raphael had used a lot of techniques on structures as well as colors. Firstly, the golden triangle, as you can see in the picture, attracts viewers' attention in the first place. After you notice the knight who sits on the white horse, you will definitely see the lens that he holds, and it points to the next object in the painting, the dragon. All of the subject matters have been connected by this. Golden triangle. Nonetheless, Raphael painted a a white horse rather than a black or brown horse, because he might want to show why it represents the justice in this world. The white horse is ma- making eye contact with the viewers, with a very pleasant or even happy face. This this while it helps George fulfill his destiny. In contrast. The dragon was painted with a dark color, which shows the evilness of this creature. Lastly, I want to say why this painting is still well known in the world. It is important because strong、uh, is strongly commends the merits and achievements of Saint Saint George by presenting his braveness to save the princess. Moreover, because of Saint George. Uh, believe a Christian, therefore it is also important to spread Christian spirit. And here's my reference. Thank you for watching.